you there today. We've got Monterey sunshine going. Um, I'm going to head back out to the Taqueria and look at that walking box. Um, issue I'm having is on the hotter, you know, it's hot. It's not pulling down the temp. Had some awesome, awesome comments from the subscribers um, on that unit because I'm all target locked on the compressor. So we're going to go take a good look at it. I don't know if it's if it really is the compressor or the expansion valve, but we're going to head back out there today and take another good look at it, see if we can come up with something. I am. A couple things I do know, we got enough BTUs that the, the unit size correct for the box and the evap coil, so we know that. Um, and the issue, like I said, I'm having is it got to 95 degrees and it's having a hard time keeping up. So let's see if we can figure something out today. Awesome, awesome comments on the uh, on the channel there. Really appreciate that. So I'm in the box. The ambient outside, it's only in the 60s today. My superheat's good and the box is down the temp. So this really sucks. <laughs> I am doing a crappy job, just like I told him. Um, the TXV is right in there where it's supposed to be, but when it's hot out, we're not keeping up, and I have more than enough BTUs for this box. This box is eight feet high, about seven feet across, ten feet deep. My coil is a 12,000 12, BTU coil, and that condensing unit's good for ten. So. We got the capacity uh, right in there, right in the ballpark. I think we're pumping down now. Yeah, we're pumping down and shutting off right now at set point. Okay, I think I figured it out. I'm not doing nothing to it. What I gotta do is work on the door and then look. Boom, right in there. Right into the box. That's the problem. Right there. Man, I suck. Really bad. I really did do a crappy job. Alright. Thank you, subscribers. He troubleshot my video on the Copra and Scroll Medium Temp Fun video. And so I went back and looked at it. Box was down the temp, super heat was good. So I figured, what the heck. I was thinking I'd come back on the next hot day and check it out. And then I serviced those two evap coolers. I changed the pads and changed the water pump in one. And while I was checking that evap cooler, discharge, I saw the door to that walk-in box stuck open. The door closer's worn out, the gasket needs to be replaced, and I gotta do a little work on the hinges. And that's what was happening. The vap cooler was out, so we're, we were dumping 95 degree air right into that kitchen with the door of the walk-in open and that hot air going into the cooler. There's no way. That box was, there was no way it could catch up. I didn't notice that the first time. You guys called me on my baloney, which I really, really dig. That was awesome. Um, and then going back and checking it. And uh, led me to what's going on there. So that was really, really cool. All right, Copeland, I'm putting a big old giant crow in my mouth for the scroll. You're not depressing. I was depressing. <laughs> Feathers away.